It's a story of child abuse that shocked the nation. A set of California parents chaining their children to the bed, underfeeding them and beating them. And as our Dennis Turner reports, the story tracks all the way back here to Central Texas, where the Turpin family lived for years. David and Louise Turpin face a judge for the worst kind of child abuse imaginable. The main witnesses, their children. My parents took my whole life from me. A crime that may have started in this nice house on a lonely dirt road in Hill County. Neighbors noticed something strange about the children soon after they moved in, including this conversation with the Turpin's oldest daughter. She turned around and said, oh, we're not allowed to tell our names, but if you pay attention to what we're saying, you might be able to figure out what our names are. Shelley Vineyard thought the family odd, but never saw enough of them to realize how they lived their lives. Neighbors say the Turpins lived in this house for years until they trashed it. Then they proceeded to move in a double wide out and back and trash it. Hill County Sheriff's deputies only answered two calls here over the years. One involved a dog bite, the other a family pig that got away and ate a neighbor's dog food. After the Turpins arrest in California, investigators traveled to Texas. Well, it was just a matter of uh, looking over the property. Um, they did um, want to run some uh, cadaver dogs on the property. The dogs, trained to sniff out dead bodies, didn't turn up anything, but neighbors describe a house abandoned with howling hounds that brought them to investigate. It was pretty nasty. There were dirty diapers and the dogs they left inside were feeding off the trash. They also saw ropes tied to the beds and every storage space locked down, much like the Turpins' California home. Suddenly, everything about this secretive family made sense. If you were to run into a situation like that today. I wouldn't know what I was looking at now. Yeah. Finally caught, the Turpins offered an apology. I want to say again, I'm truly sorry. I am for everything I've done to hurt them. I love them more than they could ever imagine. An apology their children seemed to ignore. Now I'm taking my life back. A judge sentenced I'm David and Louise to life in prison, where neighbors say they belong. Oh, I think they need to stay in for life. One life each for the several they damaged on this lonely road in Hill County. Near Rio Vista, Dennis Turner, Central Texas News Now. Despite their difficulties, five of the Turpin children made it to college and one has a job in a bike shop.